this video I'm going to show you how to check the static pressure of a house when you're designing a system and installing it and you want to know what the pressure is there you take a little gauge like this and you can check that pressure let me show you something when you're designing an irrigation system there's a couple things you need to know about the property before you start designing especially before you start installing one of the things is you need to know what the meter size is to know what kind of water you've got and what I mean is how much water if it's a house is it a one inch meter a 5 8 meter half inch meter whatever it is you need to know how much water you have and you design your system accordingly the other thing you need to know is what the pressure situation is at that property sometimes the pressure is really high and if it's really high you need to figure out some kind of way to regulate that pressure that way it doesn't mess up your sprinkler system or waste a lot of water but you also need to know if it's a low pressure you need to know how to design that system according to that low pressure in that property well, what you can do is you can take a little gauge and we kind of built this little gauge up it's just a typical pressure gauge and we glued a couple fittings together and made it to where we could screw it onto a hose bib and that's one of the easiest best ways to check the pressure at a house so you can just take this simple gauge and you screw it into your hose bib and then turn your hose bib on now you can see here the pressure is actually pretty high at this place it's it, the pressure gauge even with a little bit of a leak right there is reading 80 psi or over 80 psi and so that's why you want to check to see what the pressure is at that property there's two types of pressure that you need to know when you're doing irrigation there's static what's called static pressure and there's also what's called dynamic pressure when you're designing you need to know what the static pressure is and that means the water when it's standing still when it's just there and it's not moving that's what's called static pressure now if you want to know what how the system is running and what the dynamic pressure is you can get a little gauge like this or a different I've got a different one you can hook to a sprinkler head and see what that pressure is and that's what's going to be called dynamic pressure and that's when water is moving through the system that's what the pressure is when it's moving but for design purposes you want to know you want to take a little gauge like this and you want to check to see what the static pressure is at that property and that's going to help you on your design and also on your installation kelly stags here american irrigator trying to make you a better irrigator from a licensed irrigator to a licensed irrigator and homeowners alike consider subscribing that way you don't miss any tips yeah, on my face. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>